Hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom. You're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom coming to you live from my Seattle apartment, as you can see in the background. Isn't it lovely? Doesn't matter what the weather, it's always nice in my Seattle apartment. Uh, yeah, we got Curtis Davis here, and uh, I'm kind of sort of. I'm sweating uh, a parlay here at the moment. We're looking for the under on the L.A. Anaheim game. Amazing that L.A. is getting outshot 25 to 12 or 13. I, I can't believe it. And uh, that Anaheim's playing that well and L.A. is playing that poorly. Didn't see that coming. But they're keeping it under two to one. So you 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 hit her we you hit her pretty good and we hit her we hit it really good yesterday uh but you in particular hit it really well right curtis I, it was a great day yesterday uh fantastic day uh i think one eight and two um today's uh, been phenomenal too and i'm like you i'm i'm sweating the under on the lakers game but i i uh, hit a two-team parlay and uh, hit my straight bets earlier today uh, with uh, Montreal in the over and um, uh, what was the other one? Winnipeg. Uh, so hit all three of those. Yep. So, uh, it's going to be I today. hit Montreal. I hit Winnipeg. Carolina disappointed me. I had him in reg. I, I should have took him out Mel, but they were only getting 140. So how do you take him out Mel 145? Uh, I probably should have took him out Mel because I was pretty sure that they would at least do that. And, call, and with Lankin in a net, Chicago will be in a lot of games now. That Lankanen kid is for real by the looks of it. Um, what else did I have? I took a, I put a really small play out there for patrons on Minnesota ML, but I wasn't really all that serious about it. Uh, I just thought if there was a spot for Minnesota to beat Colorado, that was it. And the juice was nice. So, but I did... Well, especially with uh, McKinnon's out. Yeah, he? with McKinnon out, I thought it was a pretty decent spot. Uh, besides that, everything hit, uh, so I was looking really good. Really good day. Tomorrow, or tomorrow, uh, we'll have we have two games that neither one of us are very fancy about, but we thought we'd come on and do a video and talk about it, anyways. Uh, sometimes I find just by that's why I like having Curtis now. If I just start discussing stuff, things start coming into my head and it clarifies things for me. And maybe it will for you guys as well with your picks, with whatever you're doing. So this is going to be a fun banter back and forth and, and hash it out. That's really what it is. When you're doing picks, if you're going to be, if I find if a person's going to be really successful at picks, hashing it out and trying to figure a uh, few things out. Looking at every angle is the way to go, right, Curtis? Oh yeah, and and, and uh, we welcome all of y'all to uh, you know send us your comments and uh, your thoughts on the game and that because uh, you know we gotta look at this as teamwork. We're all in this to win. We're all in this to beat them bookies, and uh, yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, for sure, no doubt about it. Um, that yeah. So comments down there. That we had two people put in parlays for our parlay challenge. By the way, if you comment your parlays down there in the comment section, I'll give you a free month on our Patreon for our top deluxe $25 a month uh, package. I'll give you a free month, whoever is whoever gets the most points. Right now, I don't think anybody's hit <laughs> the parlay, but... Way it'll be is I'll calculate the calculate the points. If you could do it for me, tell me how much it pays out. Not money wise, but percentage wise. So if it's paying out at 6.5, say 6.5 or 10.2 or 3.4, tell me and I'll keep it on record. And at the end of the month, if you got more, most points, then you'll get a free month. If you're the only one doing it down there guess what? You're getting the free month. So right now we only had two. So there's pretty good odds you can make yourself a free month of Patreon. So go ahead and do it there, buddies. All right. Uh, okay, let's get to the games tomorrow, shall we? Uh, um, first off on the plate. Uh, where's my odds thing here? First off on the plate, we have Detroit Tampa Bay. This is a difficult game because the it, it 
The uh, trends do not look good for Tampa Bay in this, do they? No. Uh, uh, the last five games between the two, uh, Detroit has covered the puck line. And, it, you know, anytime you see a juice of a three, I mean, I think it opened up at 320. I mean, you, you can't make money. It's too small a card to, to put it with anything. Um, you can't do the puck line with that kind of trend. Um, you know, uh, you may be better off value-wise take Detroit plus one and a half, but on paper, you know, Tampa Bay should be beating the crap out of Detroit all day long and everything. So uh, uh, you won't see me playing the game. Yeah, you got – that's the thing. Um, that's why I like having trends guys around there because, like you said, I'm an energy guy. Um, but even on the energy aspect of Tampa Bay – I haven't really seen them play maybe their last game against Nashville, but what kind of a judge is that? Uh, Nashville, honestly, I think could be worse than Detroit right now. Uh, they're definitely trending downwards. Uh, I have a feeling uh, they're going to be uh, getting rid of a lot of pieces by the end of the year. I, I'd be surprised if they make the playoffs. I, they're not going to. There's the no way they're making the playoffs. There's no way. The question is how far down in the bottom of the league are they going to be right now, I would say. And uh, I would say that that's going to be really low. And it's going to be interesting to see what, what, what Nashville does with that lineup going forward because it's a mess over there. But anyways, um, and, and, you know, one of the other things is, um, uh, what's the projected goalies? Um, uh, Thomas. Uh, Grace. Um, you know what? You, you know Grace what? Did, um, and, and I, and he's a job. You know, I mean, uh, yeah. um, I've always liked him. He's, a, he's a definitely a, a very good backup goalie, if nothing else. Uh, but he, um, he'd be a number one goalie in some of the other teams' uh well, he, right he'll now. be traded at the deadline and get they'll get a pretty good price for him, probably a second round pick or something like that. Um, but there's that. The Grice looks like he's going to be in. You know, I don't. I mean, PL for value is Detroit PL. You're getting. What are you getting on the PL? What are you getting on the My, PL on that spread? Even, you're still getting two. You're even, still getting two fifteen. What's that in, uh, what's American? So you bet 100, you get 100. You know, it's even money. Yeah, mine's even better than that. You bet 100 and you're getting 115. Mm. Yeah, that's the value bet there. You, I mean, that's the only real bet to put in. Um, the, like you said, though, it, it's just as possible that Tampa Bay blows him out here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's why it won't be a play for me. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got to have better odds than that. I know one thing that would be good, and I'd really got to start looking into this more, is player props. I would uh, I'd put a player prop on uh, Grice to save, what, 35 shots? There's there... – I'd, I'd have to see what the player prop is uh, in that uh, – um, uh, I don't play a whole lot of player props, uh, but you can definitely make money at it. And a game like this, uh, you can look at that. You could also uh, possibly look at what the team totals are. Um, yeah. uh, that might be an avenue to go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, get rid of that juice. Um, here, I'll tell you. Uh, Detroit's team total is one and a half. Minus 170. Uh, Tampa Bay's team totals three and a half minus 130. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't even like any of that. No, I don't uh, like. I know. mean, Grice could definitely hold them under three and a half. Yep. Definitely. I mean, if I'm going to play that, I'm leaning under three and a half. This feels like. Uh, I'll say it again. Actually, the play here is under five and a half. I don't think Detroit's going to score enough against Vasilevsky to get. I think under five and a half is the play here. Yeah, and and if you think Tampa Bay's going to blow them out, if you can get the alternative lines, a lot of sites offer alternative lines, 
uh, you might be able to get Tampa Bay minus two and a half or minus three and a half, and uh, yeah. makes a good money. I don't money think with Grayson that it's going to blow him out away out that much. Uh, I think it probably, you know, I think they'll keep it under five and a half, but blow him out like four nothing or something like that, four one. So I think the play here is under five and a half. Um. Yeah, I would lean that way. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm surprised. Is, is that is that the is that the total five and a half? Yeah, it is. It is right now. Yeah. If you go over to if you, may, if you will go you may want, if, because it's Tampa Bay, uh, you may see you may get some sixes by game time. Yeah, so watch the line um, there. If you can get a six, I'm under six all day, for sure. Absolutely. Under six all day. Absolutely. Now, if you go over to the opening app, and I'm gonna have to check this one out. They've got an under of six and a half. However, the juice is only 157. But I'd take that all day long. I That's still good juice at under six and a half. Yes. Yeah, I would take that. If you go over to the opening app, uh, take uh, go, under six. They do this all the time. They give you uh, these wide huge over unders and they give you huge juice on the on the like over six and a half is 225 which would be uh you know 125 dollars on your hundred dollar bet so double in a bit double in a quarter uh but under five and a half that's that would be the play there okay now the real difficult one here boston philadelphia both teams have been shoot, scoring lots as of late. I think the last time they played, I think their history is over, isn't it? Um, do, 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 do. I don't have an overtrend on them. Uh, I know that uh, they've played two games this year and both games were over. So uh, if, if you want to go just this year's trends, uh, I would say over. But uh, with these two goalies in there, um, you know, Hart's tough at home. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, um, Boston got uh, um, uh, Pastrick uh, back, uh, and he has scored a point in his first two, and both his games that he's come back to, and that's arguably the best line in hockey. Um, uh, it's a tough one. Uh, it, it, if I'd have to lean... Um, Gosh, I think the line's five and a half. Um, I mean, the line's where it should be uh, with these two teams. Uh, it's going to be a place of atmosphere for sure. Um, you know, with the uh, setup this year in the hockey, uh, it's going to have that playoff atmosphere, I believe. Um, yeah, I think you, what you were doing before, maybe do... Uh, the more I think about it, the more I like that under. I might put it in for the Tampa Bay Detroit game. The more I think about it, maybe par yeah. parlay uh -huh. that under with Philadelphia plus one and a half. That I think that'd be good. You know, my tell me Boston's gonna pull uh, this game know, out I, though. I, I uh -huh. guess same Boston too. Uh, that come from behind win against Washington that they had also um you they got a great coach there that's going to say you know celebrate with them and then the next day they're like okay can we remember here what made us stanley cup team is our defense you know we've been they've been lacking on their defense for a while and a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're bringing in some young players in there uh they have zaboral uh, uh, who's a rookie? They got a, a Lau Zones only a couple of years in the league, and he's playing top minutes. Um, you know, they've got a lot of younger players there. It's a question is when is it all gonna start? You know, coming together for them defensively. Uh, but with Pasternak back, yeah. Yeah, it's that's it's a tough game to, to cap. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, uh, and the only thing to look at, you know, Hart traditionally is a lot better at home. Um, his numbers don't really show it this year. They're actually pretty even numbers as home and away. Uh, yeah, that uh, away, that away uh, trend goals. is eventually going to start working itself out. I think. I. 
He's too good of a goaltender to be. But still in Boston, uh, 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 I actually like that uh, more so than uh, the total. But uh, uh, this shorter card, I just, I, I, you know, I can see this game going either way. You know, it uh, uh, depends on which Philly team's going to show up. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, it depends. That, I think that's what we're talking about here, right? But Philly has been playing, has really been putting it together the last couple games. Um, the other part is, and the reason why Philly has been having problems is the injuries they had to their defense, and then they got Myers back now. This is a way different team with Myers in the lineup. It's really close. I, I like the Philadelphia plus one and a half. That's the play to me. That's, that's the, it's, you, I, it, when you're talking about, when, when you start humming and hawing over a game like this, I think you really just got to go realize that it's, it's a close, it's going to be a close game and take the, take the puck line on the, on the dog, especially at home. Philadelphia is at home, right? So yeah. take the puck line on the dog yeah. and, and parlay it with the under in the Tampa game. And if you look at that, we just gave you two paid picks. If I if I put them in, I was I was considering fading all of this and not even giving and not even giving and, a pick and, to Patreon. By the way, if you want some of these fine picks that we're fl- throwing out there, go to Patreon. I'll put the uh, in the bio here. I'll put the link down there. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. We got a parlay challenge going over there too. Not just the one that you can do in the comment section. Yeah. Parlay challenge over there. Everybody's putting parlays in, and we add everybody's uh, points. And at the end of the month, they get a free month. But uh, if they beat me, they got to beat me though. So another way to uh, look at games, and uh, you know, Steve, I don't know if you you play it that much. I've talked to you a little about it, but uh, a game like this. Uh, um, if I can, if I can get in front of the TV and actually watch the game, uh, this is the type of game that uh, I would look at live bets uh, that you can get on. Um, uh, you know, especially right after a goal, or if you've seen how the flow of the game's going or something. Um, you know, if you get on it like in the uh, first or second period, uh, um, you can make a lot of money uh, doing some live bets. And that I've done quite well with yeah, that this year. I was year. thinking that. Maybe once a night, like right now, I have I'm I'm gonna have to get into a bigger place, but maybe once a week, we could get together and go live on YouTube, on a Saturday night or something, and just do uh, during, during the games oh. while we're watching them, and uh, we'll have people can comment oh, and we'll talk picks all night. We'll just do live bets all night. Uh. That'd be pretty cool. That sounds like a wonder yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah we'll, do, we'll do that. Okay, guys. Well, there you go. I mean, we just gave you a whole crap load of information. That's the kind of information people usually have to pay for right there. But uh, you get it for free. Free to you because we love you guys. Thanks for commenting down there. I'm getting a whole rash of subscribers there. In this, And uh, thanks for that. If you hit the subscribe button, I'll get... I'll get uh, Helen to, to knit you up a uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklace, and we'll put it in the Perlocopter with Melissa or Hernandez, and they'll send it right over to you. So you hit that subscribe. Get yourself a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. You know, that sort of thing. And make sure you send your letters and comments down there in the comments section. Uh, both Curtis and I really enjoy that. We'll make sure to comment back if you give us a comment. Full show. No doubt about that. Um, Curtis, you got to be up early in the morning. You're Curtis is one of those working uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll let you guys go. Uh, Have a great day, everybody. Uh, Say goodbye, Curtis. You too. Bye bye. Love to you. Bye.